Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Monday, June 29th. I'm James Spann. As you might expect in late June, it's hot, it's humid, and we do have scattered showers and storms across the state. Let's take a look at things. There's the upper air look across the country. Got a very cold trough back in the northwest. They've got snow falling in some of the mountains up there here in late June. But down here we have a ridging place and a moist tropical air mass. There's the visible satellite view. A field of cumulus clouds across the state. So far, the bulk of the showers and thunderstorms over the Tennessee Valley. That was the radar composite at 228. Showers south of the valley, fairly isolated. And it's pretty hot for some places. This is the hottest day so far this year. Birmingham, for example, at 93. Tuscaloosa, 93. But notice Coleman, 78, with nearby rain showers. And Alexander City, with a shower nearby, they've got 76 degrees. And around the nation, look at the cold air back in the northwest. Some of the mountains are in the 30s with snow on the ground. That sounds pretty refreshing for summertime. There's the current watch warning map around the nation. Flash flood watches north of the state, parts of Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri. Things pretty quiet here. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. The core threat's going to be up north in advance of that trough. Tomorrow, a risk of severe storms across the high plains. And down this way, there's a marginal risk that clips the north and northeastern part of the state. Some of the storms there could produce strong winds. And on day three, three marginal risks across the country, including one that covers about the northern third of Alabama, the darker green, level one out of level five. Check the rain for the next seven days. The west is fairly dry. The southeast is fairly wet. And, of course, with the scattered nature of the showers and storms, there's no way of knowing exactly how much any one spot will see. Average amounts between one and two inches over the next week. And the tropics really quiet. One wave uh, will be approaching the windward islands that it's not expected to develop because of Dry air and strong upper winds. Another surface low is going to form off the east coast of the United States. Odds of development there is fairly low. Nothing threatening the Gulf of Mexico anytime soon. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. Cold trough in the west, upper low in the northeast. And around here, pretty much the same deal. Hot, muggy, partially sunny, pop-up storms in the afternoon. They'll be around. Nobody knows exactly when and where they form. Just have to watch radar trends, and that's going to be the case for a while. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Partly sunny, hot, humid days. Scattered mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. Highs around 90. Just what you expect at the end of June, the 1st of July. What about the holiday weekend? This is Saturday and this is Sunday. The bottom line is not a lot of change. Evidence there might be a little weak surface low near the Gulf, but still, the idea is the same. A mixture of clouds and sunshine, hot, humid, scattered, mostly afternoon and evening, showers and storms. And a week from today, this is Monday, the 6th of July. Uh, the main westerlies way up north, a little weakness here, and it's the same old story. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, July 9th. Upper high over the Plain States, main westerlies up north, and once again, a few pop-up storms about. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble. The mean is around 3 inches for the next 15 days. Temperatures, highs, upper 80s and low 90s through next week. Lows in the low 70s. And the CPC outlook, this is for July 7th through the 13th. A little oasis of blue down here. And understand that doesn't mean cool weather. That just means temperatures should be a little below average if this happens to verify. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.
KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.